Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got ourselves three, count them, three brand new commercials for Kingdom Hearts 3. I'll be watching them, breaking them down if there's anything to break down, and then talking a little bit about the game. I thought that'd be a fun, short video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Oh, we have some new shots in here. This looks to be all Disney. <laughs> Herc, what are you doing? He's like, I got... I have a boy <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> okay, and this is just like, hey, here are the things you can buy. Look at this keyblade that uh, Amazon is touting as their big exclusive item, otherwise known as the 7-Eleven keyblade in Japan. Ooh, this theme looks good. So is this box. Speaking of, I've got the, um, uh, as we get ready to roll back and analyze this thing. I've got the special deluxe edition pre-ordered, and they're charging the day after Christmas. It's like Merry Christmas, KZ. Give give us two hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> I probably shouldn't buy that. I probably shouldn't have bought that. But hey, maybe I wanted toy Donald Duck. All right. Sometimes that happens. So if we're so if we're looking if we're looking through this, we've got uh, some new shots that are pretty good. We like we got this. This Tangled shot, which, having uh, recently seen the movie, finally, uh, I'm excited to see this world represented quite a bit. I like so I like Sora's like confidence here. Uh, I feel like his character uh, was a little bit worse in Dream Drop Distance, so I'm really excited to see his general attitude and look in this. Uh, Goofy's got that look. He's like, yeah, you know what the fuck's going on. Donald is like, man, I'm short and a duck. <laughs> We've got this scene, because we can skip over the Baymax thing, of just, this is likely, yeah, yeah, from the looks of it, it seems that this is likely them running into some sort of villain, like, Goofy's fucking pissed again, so everyone, uh, Jack's just kind of like, hmm, so you have to wonder uh, who this might be. Given the large beach, could this be, um... I forget if this could be the Davy e. Jones locker area. Regardless, I imagine it's like an organization member, like Luxord or some antagonist. Uh, we got we got, we got Woody being like, "Hey, so I, I saw what happened to Buzz in the last trailer. Uh, you realize you can't kill Disney characters, right?" And Sora's like, D "Dude, I, I I I don't write this shit." <laughs> Uh, there's not much I can go on here. It's just like, hey, flashing different scenes that uh, work. A lot of Tangled. There's like three Tangled clips in here. And then we got uh, this Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. part. We got the this cute, this cute Frozen scene. And then this. I got myself an anime boy and a, and a dog. All right. I, I can't wait to see where the rest of the scene goes where he's like, I got him. And then he just kind of like throws them out because clearly this is the chaotic... Uh, area in Thebes, so I'm interested to see where that's going. And then we have the cool shot with Remy, which I think looks really, really great. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what I have to do with him to get a frying pan. And then, of course, the uh, the Winnie the Pooh closes out this commercial. Uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. I, 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 I liked that. Um, again, this is my first reaction and analysis to these. So, that said, we move on to number two. Oh, nice. They're switching it up. Ooh. Ooh, this is just combat. Okay, if we do that, then definitely the next trailer will be story-related. God, that's so good. That's so good. Just a commercial where Sora's voice actor actually just goes, This is it, man. You know, just, just saying the title of the game is giving me chills almost. But let's uh, look, let's look over this a little bit. So we got we got this scene here. How about how about I let it run, but we're gonna mute this because otherwise you'll hear, and and we don't want any of that. So here's what we saw in the D23 trailer in February. We got to see this part, and uh, ooh, that interesting little uh, insight here. If we if we move it, there's a barrier at the bottom, so you can't hit it from the bottom at all. And there seems to be something down there. That's Donald Duck down there, actually. If you zoom in in hands, it's Donald Duck. And you gotta hit this thing in the head. 
uh, I, I theorize that if you remember the trailer, the Pirates trailer, uh, in June, you see that uh, the, the Martian toys get taken up into something. And I imagine it's this flying saucer. And uh, it's got a few health bars. Nothing too crazy yet, because it's an early world. And you get to see uh, them going straight forward. Then they slam into this. They do f they do six health bars. Because this, ga this game is like Dragon Ball Z. Where, where the power scaling has gotten off the charts. So the numbers got to be big. And I'm going to be honest. I like big numbers. So I'm excited about that. Uh, nothing more to glean here. Except that this is cool ship combat. Excited about that. This is a limit that you get with uh, Rapunzel and uh, Flynn Rider. This is the teacup stuff, and then then we got this. Ooh, ooh, that was a that was a crunchy hit. Can we can we see what his health was? At all? Okay. All right, so we're coming in mid combo. You can tell it's mid combo because uh, he's a, he he just lost a bar, and then he comes in for this punch. And this is the stuff that gives me hope that uh, that that bosses are going to be paced properly when it comes to damage. Because that's always uh, the worry that if you're playing naturally, you kind of want a decent amount of damage on everything you're doing. So it doesn't feel too long. But you also don't want it to feel too short either. And it's looking like they're really nailing the balance there. So, very happy about that. And this thing, I think, is the most interesting boss they've shown. I would put this, and then there's the one in the previous trailer that we watched uh, earlier this week. That was the thing in Tangled that was climbing up the tower, like the, uh, the tree serpent, I think it was. But this one, the most visually impressive, like the slime and everything with it. Definitely an unversed, though. You can clearly tell through the, uh, the red eye motif with it. And it has that similar, like, look. So, liking this. Uh, they're not really showing much. They're just like, look at it. It looks cool. Like, that's that's a money shot boss. Uh, get to see some of the Gigas gameplay. Get to see more of the um, the giant ice dude that I think is called Snowball. Fighting, the, fighting this cool, like, wolf thing that's only a torso and the rest is, like, darkness. It's shooting out other wolf heads, which is cool. I'm going to be seeing Frozen over the next couple of weeks, so uh, I'll make sure to catch myself up on that. It's been exciting watching the new Disney movies to get prepped for this. And then, of course, you had that aerial summon there. And then the, the, the ultimate money shot, right? You open with a thousand heartless thing. And you know, the way this spins, the way this spins like this is exactly how many of the cutscenes that we've seen in the GameSpot leak from months ago, look where it pans to you, and then gameplay starts. So like, if they let if they let that run for two more seconds, you would have seen HUD pop up like an information bar of "fuck these motherfuckers up." Like we would be in there. And uh, there you go. That is the combat trailer. Looks like. Give me something, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you with this third one to give me the goods. Oh, okay, okay, they're giving me the goods! They're giving me the goods! Oh, sh- Ooh, boy! Uh, oh, God. You know, they were surprisingly more than I expected in a story-related commercial for this. So, uh, we're gonna do the same thing, so we don't end up just being paused the whole time. It also means we can get the most, uh, Kino shots. Kino, of course, is a term appropriately used for shit posting that means the highest form of artistry <laughs> so let, let, let's see let's see what we can get out of that i don't want to hear slow motion ding all right so sword does a slash against a demon wave all right all right i think that's like a demon tide because it kind of did a charge at him like that but more reminiscent than the tower at some point master xehanort has 13 no-names. Or he has 12 no-names orbiting him like that. And then he's going to raise the other one. Because there is a shot in the previous trailer that's like really short. Where you can kind of see these keyblades around him. And then he's like 
holding his, and I imagine that's the point where he summons the Kingdom Hearts moon and begins corrupting it. Are these the other members of the organization? Is, like, that possible? Like, I could see that being a thing, and then after that, I guess, whenever the Scala... Scala Ad Kylum uh, is brought into play, that they would then become their um, updated forms, because... I don't know, the mask that they wear could be a bit reminiscent to the goat head looking thing that uh, is on the hilt here. Eh, who knows? Who knows? Either way, it's a cool fucking visual. I think that's what we can take from this. Uh, big fan of it. Sora's like, this ain't good. Uh, this ain't good. Uh, something I didn't notice in the reaction to the trailer or the analysis, because I just wasn't looking at the bottom, I guess. You can see Master Xehanort going like, Give it to me! and Or he's just doing the corruption right there. This visual is so sick. It's so sick, man. So good. I adore this. Then we have this shot again. Which, uh, if you remember, like, he bursts this powerful aura. And then you have um, Master Xehanort's, like, silhouette. That's like a dark spirit up here. Looks really, really, really good. Like, it looks so cool. Uh, some people in the analysis of the last one were pointing out that this Riku is using a non-broken soul leader. He's, he's straight up actually just using the soul leader. Which basically means that cannot be, that cannot be Riku replica, most likely. Uh, or... or Here's the speculation. There's nothing definitive about this. There, one, there's too many Rikus in this game. <laughs> there's also too many Sora's, too many Xehanort's. But there are too many Rikus in this game. And the question is, is it Riku replica or is it Data Riku? We know Data Riku's in because of the Big Hero 6 stuff in September. Is this the same one? And a lot of people, including myself, have accepted that this man right here is most likely Data Riku with his hood off. Uh, there's a couple of contributing reasons behind this. Number one, you would ask, well, why isn't he wearing the organization robe now? Uh, the reason is it looks like anyone who has an outfit that looks cool is like, let me just take this shit off. <laughs> because you see Ansem Seeker of Darkness for a couple of frames in the previous trailer that came out this week without the robe. So it looks like that's fine. Data Riku during combat and recoded. Uh, wore the dark outfit, and then of course he's using the Soul Leader weapon, which would imply that uh, Riku Replica would be using the broken Way to Dawn that Riku left for him, because Riku left it on the beach for his other self, and since this one isn't using it, I'm willing to bet it's that, because we've seen confirmation the Data Riku is already a Xehanort, and no confirmation on Replica. Oh my god. <laughs> How incomprehensible would that be to anyone not into Kingdom Hearts? I bet even some people into Kingdom Hearts are going to be like, Man, KZ, this, what has happened? <laughs> but saying that also made me excited. So, whatever. Uh, after that, we get this area where <laughs> even Goofy's like, Dude, this is fucking bad. And you see, we got, we got Riku over there, Sora. Every, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Uh, I love the fact that Lee's Keyblade there has flowing fire that has a cool visual effect on it. I like that even on the walls of the area, you see more Keyblades stuck into the sides. I think that's really awesome. Uh, from there, we cut to this this cool shot. He's like, mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited. I think the one of the things I'm most excited is the uh, eventual Lee Iza fight or the Saix. Uh, axle fight because you know they gotta throw down hopefully it's playable in some form we got this cool mama Ooh, what do you, do you just reflect a card he does he's like yeah Luxor's like cards <laughs> and then boom an excellent parry by King Michael Rodent and then you know right after this no doubt you'll have your uh Mickey gets, uh, captured. Now, uh, we, we saw that in the previous trailer of Mickey getting warped at the end. 
and a lot of people were wondering about that. In fact, I will pull that up uh, and see what we can do about that. Where I'll just look up KH three trailer. Give me, give me a moment. We are wilding out because it is three thirty a.m. Who gives a shit? So here we are with this trailer here. I want to find the part where Mickey gets fucked. All right, so. Right off the chain part, we have the cards in the background, and Mickey gets warped here. And there's so now I gotta pull up something else, cause so we have we have an order of events, ladies and gentlemen, cause cause Kingdom Hearts three trailers are nuts. There there are so much. Everyone's always trying to piece together the continuity between these trailers, which I think is funny, and also incredibly fun in hindsight and uh if i can just find it find it right here so let's start the order of events we have this part mickey parries this card then luxord pulls some magic bullshit and then at that point begins to warp mickey he goes into that and i am met and my head cannon that cur my current theory is that uh, he isn't, like, trapped in a card of any sort. He is instead brought to this part from the Frozen trailer where he's, like, half inside. Half inside the darkness and, like, he's like, whoa, what's going on? And then, of course, we have the, the dark, dark aqua stuff. The reason I believe that is mainly we don't see aqua at any point in this final battle, but we see Ventus. And, uh... Terra's body is also in this battle and lingering will. So it would, wouldn't really make sense for her to not be here. So I imagine what if a bunch of characters just get warped to the realm of darkness to be put out of action. Because they know not a lot of them can travel between realms as easily. And that would be a good way to have Riku have his fight against Aqua. I'm still unconvinced that Sora is the one who has the decisive battle or not. But uh, that'd be a cool thing. I'm, I'm really interested to see where that goes. I've spent way too long talking about one aspect. Let's keep going. Uh, oh, hey, look. This is where this is happening. So she just, she's going in. She is going in real hard. Um, big fan of the, of the shot of just zooming through the water. I think that's really fucking cool. Really like that. Donald Duck's dead. We got... We got these stressful moments, and I believe that, yeah, that's pretty much, that is pretty much it for this trailer. And, uh, I guess it's good that I stuck on one point. Uh, overall, uh, these were three fun little commercials. Uh, it was a fun thing to waste your time with, uh, that's, uh, that's for sure. So, uh, to close out, uh, this whole thing, I'd have to say that, uh, it's an exciting time, isn't it? Uh, to be a Kingdom Hearts fan, we have been waiting a very long time for uh, for our console Kingdom Hearts game. It's getting closer, and I can tell it really feels real when I will have paid over $200 to Square Enix for it. I fucking pre-ordered this game digitally already, so I don't know even... You know, I'm basically getting it for the art book. I'm basically... I need to stop myself, guys. I need to stop myself because if I import this game <laughs> when it comes out in Japan, I can't do it. I gotta, I gotta hold myself for the let's play. But if I don't, but if I, but if I buckle, I will have paid three hundred and forty dollars for one video game because I will have bought it three times. And then there's bundles, and this is my life now. This is what my life is. Granted, I'm spreading these evenly. The video's gone. <laughs> The video gave up. What happened? Is it dead? <laughs> it's gone. For what reason? Why was the story video dead? Ladies and gentlemen, did it get norded? What's going on here? I'm, I'm going crazy. What the fuck was... Just, the video is dead. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright, well, whatever. You have it with me. I hope they don't fucking flag me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're done. Thank you so much for watching this uh, quick little ditty on uh, the brand new commercials. 
And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. This, how the fuck is this 20 minutes? I don't edit things.